Void! That is the most constipated announcer I've heard. He has issues. Rah, 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 rah. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be terrible, isn't it? Well, that is a nice title screen. How bad can it be? So it's named Blandia. Um, that might be uh, not, not a good sign. Let's just start with the kind of generic looking guy, just to see with how it goes. <laughs> so how bland is it gonna be? Okay. Mmm, steroids. Okay. Th these are Ken Ryu, aren't they? They are uh, recolors, <laughs> very clearly. They both have the same, the same weapons. They basically are the same sprites, it's just with minor differences. Okay. Okay, so the the controls are a little floaty. The interesting thing with this game here is that you can knock off their armor. And I feel terrible for these guys because apparently they're wearing nothing under the armor. That's a trip to Chafe Town right there. Can you imagine how bloody their nipples would be? <laughs> I, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> he just is trying to use his sword as a pogo stick apparently. Which knocks off the guy's helmet. He will not beat the almighty pogo sword. The worst thing so far is the sound. Listen to it. That's what you get instead of music. Clank, slash, clank. That's it. Slash, slash, clank. That, that's the, the soundtrack. <laughs> wow. Normally I would, I would be convinced that this is a glitch. That the game is just freaking out and just randomly playing sounds but apparently that's what it is that's what you get instead of music oh boy what even is this so far the main appeal of the game is boobies basically let's see what the pretty elf girl can do oh i see she's one of those characters that you know whose only purpose is to be hot she doesn't get any armor the dudes do. I mean, until you knock it off. <laughs> knock it off, will ya? Come on. Do you? Okay. She does it every once in a while. Apparently it is quarter circle back. But she just ignores it all the time. So the controls are pretty horrible. It's not one of the most horrendous games I've ever played. Uh, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not what I would call good. And the representation of, of the, the weapons and armor is not the worst I've seen, I'll tell you that. There's definitely more ridiculous stuff, but the armor, I don't know. I don't know who made this armor, but um, it's apparently designed to just fly off. I know, it's a crazy concept, right? That armor is supposed to stay on you and protect you. Uh, who would have thought, right? But um, I'm assuming whoever made the leather straps just recycled the driest, most brittle crap they could find. One nice thing that I have to give the game in terms of, um, you know, in terms of gameplay design is that the weapons can collide and nobody takes damage when they do. You know, in um, games like Street Fighter, if you hit at the same time, then both take damage here the weapons just clash and it's basically like an act of defense. So I, I could appreciate that. I'll, but it's overall, it's a button masher. Is that like a hit confirmation or what? Is it just random background clanging and clashing and slashing? Wow. What were they thinking? And of course she has to spin. Because why not? It's okay. As long as she shows off her butt, she can do whatever she wants, right? That's how this works. Okay. What about Asura Blade? Can only be better than Blandia, right? 
this kind of design I can get behind it. at least it makes sense in a fantasy world you know she can have a large in fact this is not even a super ridiculously big sword and she moves it telekinetically so yeah I can I can totally get behind that it's it makes sense you know you can have some crazy moves and it's kind of consistent and believable within that world so I've always liked this sort of either living sword you know sort of familiar like symphony of the night or um, you know magically okay there we go <laughs> magically moved sword telekinetically controlled things like that pretty neat I like that yeah, this game is dramatically better than Blandia. It's it has actually good controls. It has intuitive special moves that you can pull off. Okay, so there's a demon in the blade. There we go. And in this case, okay, yeah, she doesn't get any armor because she needs to be hot, but in a game where not most characters have armor it's fine you know if you just want to go for mobility i can this is a believable character concept because said she seems more like a battle mage of sorts Let's see if i can wow okay that's, that's a cool one i like that yeah this is this is a pretty decent game 100 percent Heterochromia, nice. I like that character design. <laughs> okay, now we get into the crazy stuff. Okay. He has a gigantic claw gauntlet. Kind of like a Quasimodo sort of character. Alright. I like how he drags the thing behind him. Those are the little touches that... I said, kind of make it a little bit more believable. Now, um, in a fantasy world with superpower, you know, superhuman strength and all that, it's, it's always a different story. But there's still ways to make the animations a little bit more immersive. I like how cocky the demon looks. It's like, yeah, bitch, it's what you get for messing with me. The um, red mist is also a really nice touch on the design. And you know what? I miss this kind of stuff. You know, this sort of high quality 2D gra I mean, it still exists, don't get me wrong. But um, in arcades at the time, that was, of course, the standard. And obviously, it's not considered high quality anymore by today's standards because it's not HD. But the, the level of detail is just, you know, very impressive. Hey, hurl the demon at him. Yep. Rosemary kicks ass, apparently. Dragon unit. I'm not sure I want to see a dragon's unit, but okay. All right, yeah, she's cute and she's being, of course, kidnapped and you have to... Okay, what the... Okay, so you have bats, okay. Oh, that's neat. You can walk into the background. Okay, I can appreciate that. Boots, give me better boots. That's still the same though. Okay, now I have that's the sword. Okay, the sword is definitely worse than the Morning Star, that's for sure. Unlike real life, <laughs> where I'd much rather have a sword than a Morning Star, quite frankly. Okay. He has lost his helmet and his leg armor. Okay. That's a trope that doesn't happen anymore, does it? This, uh, you know, you lose armor just pops off you. That was such a, you know, back then kind of thing. Okay. So I picked up boots, but I didn't get them. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, I like this. Magic sword. Okay, the axe is... It's got, it's got the reach, but it's so puny. It does no damage. What is that? Okay, I do like that you can dodge into the background or foreground, depending on where things are happening. 
that's that's neat. Also nice that they gave the projectiles different colors depending on whether they're in the foreground or the background. There's some good ideas here. It's not the most fantastic controls or anything. And maybe I shouldn't have judged that axe really because these were clearly bosses. Okay, now we're getting to the Castlevania style platforming apparently. All right. And of course, the girl has less armor. They always do. I mean, now he has, he does too, but he's not at full armor strength. Now these are taken directly from Castlevania, aren't they? These things. Oh, and you cannot jump on them. All right. Seriously, give me some freaking boots. I keep picking up boots, but <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Or sabatons, I guess. Oh, right. Okay, this is something I hate about this. Duck. You know, normally in a game, how do you duck? You press down, right? Not here. It's a button. That's that's pretty horrible. But okay. I like how he goes from <laughs> armored anime knight to naked barbarian. Why do you even wear armor if it falls off as soon as you're hit and you cannot jump on spikes without dying? But the... Okay, there's some neat ideas here. I do like the foreground and background thing from the first stage. I don't know if that's gonna happen again, but that was neat. Wow, he slashed that dude up real good, didn't he? Okay, now we're fighting butterflies. Yeah, there we go, that's the weapon. That's the weapon to use. Yep. Definitely now we're going Castlevania. I don't think this would really capture anyone nowadays unless you're into retro games, but for the time, I guess it was decent. Uh-oh, a game called Mighty Warriors. I have a bad feeling about this. Usually when a title is this generic, it's not good news. <laughs> okay, we have a gladiator, we have a Mongol, we have, oh. Uh, stereotypical Viking. We have an Egyptian, I guess. Whatever this dude is. <clears throat> Greek, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Greek. Void! Wow. <laughs> that is the most constipated announcer I've heard in maybe ever. <laughs> Void! <laughs> he has issues. Rah, 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 rah. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be terrible, isn't it? <laughs> this is one of those laughably bad fighting games. I mean, I will say one thing. I appreciate that the Egyptian actually has a an authentic looking shield. I've seen worse portrayals of Egyptians. The sword is completely wrong, but... Um, could be worse. I mean, they're all pretty bad, but from at that time, you really couldn't expect any form of historical accuracy. It just, just wasn't a thing in the 80s and 90s, for the most part. So, no win. Okay, now he went from constipated to just completely shit-faced and exhausted. He sounds like he has a major hangover. I <laughs> just gotta love the, the dude in the background just... <laughs> I, I am a masterful bongo player. Bongo, bongo, bongo. I think this is one of those so bad it's good. Look at that creepy smile that the dude has. Oh my, no. No, I'm done with this. This is too creepy. This is too weird. Okay, we need an antidote now. A good armed fighting game. Samurai Showdown, how can you ever go wrong with that? She looks emo as hell. <laughs> okay, who has a reasonable weapon? I mean, these two do, clearly. Okay, screw it. We're not gonna go with reasonable. We're gonna go with I effing kidding me. That's what we're gonna go with. Does he have an entire arsenal? <laughs> like, is that enough swords, you think? Do you, do you need some more? 
Like, are you sure you have enough swords, dude? I mean, what what if one of them breaks and you need, you know, three others? <laughs> wow. He... And he uses them all, apparently. I mean, you gotta give him that. He's not wasting them, he's using them all. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four on his back. Five, basically, if you count the large one as well. And then he has two more on the front. I mean, you gotta appreciate the dedication. That dude is into swords. Like, <laughs> he makes any sword collector look like a poser. Okay. And there he goes. Cut in half. Oh, he gets... That's how you do it. That's how you get the bitches. Mm-hmm. He knows. The more swords, the more girls. Well, I guess that bodes pretty well for me, doesn't it? Although, I guess not, because I do not all carry them at the same time. So there's that. He's doing pretty well, as it is. Mm. That hair, though. <laughs> that might also be part of it. How you get the checks with that hair. <laughs> Which somehow retains its shape throughout the fight. So, this might be the inventor of hairspray. <laughs> it looks even better when he's flat on the ground. <laughs> it's just buried in swords. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. And, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I can appreciate. In general, I think people often jump to the wrong conclusions with the, the weapon, uh, the weapons, the videos I've made about you know, realism and blah, whatever. They think like I need realism and I can't leave fantasy be and whatever. But no, I, this is the kind of stuff I like. I like it a lot, actually. The difference is a game like this isn't claiming to be historical, you know, unlike Assassin's Creed. For example, or you know, any kind of game that has what they what it calls Vikings and then just completely butchers them. This this game is just yeah, it's inspired by history, obviously. It's inspired by you know feudal Japan, obviously, but it doesn't it doesn't claim to represent anything in particular. It's just yeah, it's obvious fantasy, you know. And if it goes all the way, I have absolutely no problem with it. I don't have a problem with it either, if it, if it doesn't, by the way. It's a bit of a pet peeve when they butcher historical figures and, and you know, as I said, particularly Vikings, they, they get it a lot. Knights to ninjas, obviously. That does bother me, I, I will admit that, but otherwise it's just for entertainment that I overanalyze things and pretend that it bothers me more than it does, you know, just for fun. Just like, you know, it's a bit of, a bit like playing a character, you know, like the angry video game nerd. Not comparing myself to him directly because, like, he's he's got that nailed. I cannot claim to be anywhere near as good with the performance, but it's the kind of idea that I'm going for. Anyway, let's, uh, the train is to ascend, oh boy. He's planning to go Super Saiyan. Let's do one more. This might be a, a mistake, but... <laughs> Time Killers. I've heard of this. It's not supposed to be good. Oh, Yeah, see? This is what I mean. This is what I mean. Not that the knight looks much better, but at least he's not... It is pretty bad, but he's not misrepresented to quite the same level as the quote-unquote Viking. Oh, the controls are cancerous. Oh, boy. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I can't even do anything. Oh, the colors. The background looks atrocious. Oh, boy. The colors are off, the animations are choppy and terrible, the controls are really bad. All clunky and... Oof. Yeah, do not try this one. Let me tell you, do not try this one. 
Okay, screw it. Let's go with Chainsaw Punk. Time killers. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, I cannot tell you how bad this is. This is one of those experiences. You can't you can't feel it. You know, you can't feel how clunky it is. Ha! Mm -hmm. Engage. Oh, oh, I cannot bear this. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can't. This is this is literally giving me tumors. His posture right now really sums it up. He's all hunched over, like he's nauseated, is about to throw up, and he's in pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's it. That's his game. Anyway, let's leave it at that. So I hope you found it entertaining. A bit of a look at some retro stuff, of course, involving weapons. Why not? And uh, hope you liked it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.